So after my little uh, lopsided adventure and smashing the mirror, I uh, had a guy on Instagram reach out to me and said, man, you should really try some of these off-road mirrors from Zumwalt Off-Road. And they just showed up today. And I am uh, looking forward to uh, putting them on. So let's see what we got. So we have some foam gasket material. We have the mirror, one of two, two of two. And then we've got some brackets that are specific to your truck. And a bag of hardware. Yeah. Very cool. It's like a nicely powder coated bracket, all welded together, drilled and ready, and then foam gasket material to go behind it. Um, I'm guessing this foam is just a shipping material. So we'll pull that off of there. And uh, yeah, that should be sweet. So look forward to, uh, let's see if we can get these bolted on. Check them out. All right, so on the second gen Tacoma, uh, apparently that piece of trim is about ready to fall off. <laughs> So that piece of trim pulls out and it looks like in order to get to the bottom hardware, we're going to have to pull the door panel, which isn't too big a deal. I think I've had it off before, but there's a fastener here. Um, I want to say that under this handle, there's a couple and then you pull um, the window, which has like a clip. You push the clip off, pull that. And I think the rest of it is just uh, like just getting in behind it and releasing it. So. We'll uh, get this popped off of here and see what we gotta do next. Yeah, and I was right. Um, so you just pop that little cover back. I was able to get just my little tiny pocket screwdriver in behind there, pop that cover back. Same thing, there was kind of a notch down here in the bottom, able to pull this out straight towards me and that exposes three Phillips screws. So we'll uh, unscrew those and then pop this clip out and uh, get the door panel out of our way. So once I unscrewed those three screws and then I just got my hand um, behind here and just worked my way around the edge, just popping loose all those fasteners, door panel just lifts off. So nice. Might be different if you have the power features, but I don't have any of the power features. So anyway, that gives us access to our screws here the hardware for the mirror. So we're going to get these unbolted and we'll hold the new one up and see what we got to do to bolt it on. I'm guessing it goes over. Yeah, lines right up. Holes match up nice. Looks like we'll put that gasket material in behind it and then, uh, yeah. Bolt it up. Looks pretty simple and straightforward. All right, so I took some glass cleaner and paper towel, cleaned up the area where the new mirror is gonna go. And then I took the supplied gasket material and put around the edge of the mirror frame. Take the supplied hardware. This might be a little interesting because so might be easier for you you probably be able to have the window down um, have the window up because I'm trying to film so that's making it a little more interesting
looks like you want your real big Phillips screwdriver. Oh yeah, I like that. That's a nice fit. Fits real well. So the hardware here was 11 millimeter, 7 sixteenths. Looks like the hardware that's on the back of the mirror uh, itself on the stud here is probably half inch. So yeah, half inch or 13 millimeter. I like that. That looks cool. It, uh, it doesn't protrude. Um, it's actually inboard of the OEM mirror by, I guess I could grab a tape measure and check it, but I'm guessing by at least a couple inches, judging from when I held it up there. I just wanna take a seat in the truck and see I'm thinking this convex style mirror is going to work great with having the topper on here. Um, the topper provides a ton of blind spots. Oh, that is awesome. So driver's perspective. Now you can see all the way from the bottom of the tire to the top of the topper and what's that way from you, which is really important in the woods, man. There's trees and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. That really gives you a, a real wide perspective of what's going on. Yeah, that's great. Let's get the uh, door put back together and get the other one on. Not to try and hype it up too much or be cliche, but man, what a game changer. Just uh, even backing out of my own garage, um, having the peripheral vision around the sides of the truck with that topper, um, right now, I don't have a rear view mirror at all. The front wall, the whole topper is solid. There's no windows in the top whatsoever. So um, basically, it's like driving a work van or cargo van at this point, right? I have my two windows here, the windshield, and then two outside mirrors. That's all I have. And uh, so having that extra visibility, um, being able with the convex mirror to see Kind of what was off to the sides of me backing out of the garage with the other vehicles in the driveway was huge super helpful so anyway i'm gonna go putz into some trails that i know and uh see how big of a difference it makes once we get in the woods so in my cruise to uh my little off-road trail um no mirror vibration they're rock solid not fluttering or flopping around at all which is awesome um, the wind noise even at uh, five over no different than the stock mirror so I think this is a total win the only thing I forgot to do was measure that outside width to see how much narrower we are but I gotta think we're at least a couple inches narrower if not more than we were before and I feel like I have better visibility honestly so Yeah, so went and hit a few trails. I mean, I can rock the whole truck with that mirror. Like, it is solid. Yeah, love them. Super sweet upgrade.